Cleansing is a way of our life. That's it. No core, no enlightenment, no God, no Buddha. Just sit with silence, with empty mind. One minute's practice, one minute's enlightenment. Ten minutes practice, ten minutes enlightenment. No expectation, no desire. Just sit. Very simple. This is a soul project. I think Matsugaroshi uh, is the first priest who has a Zen center for uh, General America oh, to, to spread uh, Soto Zen. He was a Gondai Kyoshi. Gondai Kyoshi is a very special one. Number of Gondai Kyoshi is totally 1500. In total, in the world. Mm -hmm. Outside Japan, there are only two. So his status is so high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, officially. Yeah. Of yeah. So yeah. We'll be greatly respected. Mm -hmm. When Matsuoka Roshi came here, very few uh, Zen teachers preceded him, and uh, none of the American. Interest in Zen had to do with actually practicing meditation, Zazen. Not that many people knew him. Not that many people are even aware of him. He was not as well known as many other uh, teachers who came over a little bit after him. And so we want to share uh, Matsuoka Roshi's legacy with everyone. Matsuoka Roshi's teachings are universal and practical. They're for everyone. Uh, and I really appreciate how he brought it to Americans. We've been talking about coming to Japan for some time to retrace Matsuoka Roshi's uh, steps, where he was born, where he trained, where he was educated. And uh, we've managed to touch all the most important places and learn a significant amount of information about Matsuoka Roshi that we didn't know. He deeply loved America, the, the energy and freshness that we brought to our practice, I believe. We want to uh, honor our teacher by coming to all of the places that are important to our tradition uh, and thanking them for sending our teacher to us. Someone asked Matsuoka Roshi, how does one know they are making progress in Zazen? And he simply answered, sitting mountain feeling, describing the strength and peace in Zazen. I always remember that when I get into the posture. He was a very important figure in the history of Zen and in its propagation to the West. And he was a unique uh, character and individual. <laughs>